In this video, I've got an update for you on my Amazon affiliate website, bestroofbox.com. Hopefully you've been following along with everything that I've been doing on the site, including how I made the site. If you haven't, be sure to check out uh, the playlist that's appeared up there. Give that a click, start from the beginning and all will become clear. Those of you that didn't see the last update, let me just quickly recap. Basically, it was a little bit of doom and gloom. Um, earnings were down, traffic was down, and yeah, basically I put it down to the time of the year, and there's a bit of a seasonality problem <laughs> with the roof box niche. And yeah, October was just basically a bad time, and people just weren't buying roof boxes. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the latest traffic and the latest revenue, and looking at it, we might have turned the corner. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. If you're not already subscribed, why not do so right now? Just click that button below. Make sure you click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. So let's start by talking about some of the recent work that I've been doing on the site. One thing that I did just the other week was add a new category, a new category for the car specific roof box guides. So yeah, these are the articles where I'm talking about a particular make and model of car and you know the best roof box for that car. And I thought it'd be good to have them all in one place to make it easier for visitors to find. So I created a new category for them and then added that category to the menu. And then of course dropped all those articles in. Upon doing that, I noticed that, you know, there isn't actually probably enough of those sort of articles. So I've ordered a whole load more car specific articles to fill that category out. As well as doing that, I have of course been adding some more content. And in fact, I did a video just the other week. I'll put a link up in a card now. And in that video, I basically show you how I create my content and yeah, basically recorded me going through the entire process of coming up with ideas for content, getting it written and also publishing it to the site. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to go check it out. I think you'll find it useful. It's quite a long video, but as I say, it covers absolutely everything that I do to create some content and Two articles featured in that uh, video are live on the site now. And in fact, they've already started getting some traffic and some of that traffic is organic traffic. So yeah, that just shows that, you know, you create content, you add articles to your site, you'll get more traffic. The other thing that I've been doing to the site is building some links. And again, you may have seen my video on this. I've been using a service called The Hoff and yeah, basically been paying for some guest posts to be added to other sites around the internet with links back to my site. So yeah, be sure to check that video out if you haven't seen it already. Again, you'll find a link up there and you'll find all the links to everything I talk about in the description. So let's get on to the good stuff, the traffic and the revenue numbers. I know that's the main reason why you're here. So let's start with the traffic. I'll put some analytics up now. And this is looking at the last 30 days worth of traffic. We can see that we've had 2,820 users, which actually equated to 3,640 sessions. And if we compare to the previous 30 days, we can see that it's gone green, which makes a change as the last couple of months it's been red and kind of been in decline. But looking at this, you know, it's a little ray of light, a bit of hope that we may have turned a corner and we may be back to getting some growth. I mean, it is only small, it's only a few percent, you know, around 5% on that, but you know, any growth is good growth, I think. So yeah, really happy with that. And if we drill down a bit further and look at the organic search, which obviously is very important as that's the main source of traffic to the site, we can see that that has grown. So the SEO efforts seem to be working, albeit a little bit slowly. If we take a look at Ahrefs, which is a premium tool that I use to kind of track my rankings and keywords and help me find out what my competition is up to, we can see that it's now showing that the site is ranking for around 950 keywords, which is pretty good. And 500 of those are in the US, so that's google.com, which is good because that's where the site is uh, targeting. That's where I want the majority of traffic to come from. And, you know, looking at the details of those keywords, there's some good ones in there. And a lot of them are on page one of Google. And in fact, a handful of them are position one, page one, position one, I should say, on Google. So that's fantastic. And yeah, really happy with that. And I'm just looking forward now um, as we go, you know, past Christmas and into the new year, 
I'm really, you know, hoping that's all going to kick in as people start to think about going outside and going camping and basically buying a roof box. So I think, you know, the site is positioned well to have a fantastic uh, 2020. But has all this extra traffic translated into more money? Well, let's take a look. I'll put the Amazon earnings up now. And if we look at October, um, we can see that the earnings were $63.86. And, you know, that's not too bad. But in fact, it's been the last few days where some stuff has really started to happen and we've started to sell a few good things. So if I switch this to the last 30 days, we can see that the Amazon income is now up to $134.37. And if we take a look at some of the products that we've actually um, earned commission on, we can see that there is a good few roof boxes in there. So they're quite high value items and they generate quite a nice chunk of commission. So that's all looking promising and fingers crossed those roof boxes don't get returned. I don't know if you remember the update a few uh, videos back, sold a number of very expensive roof boxes and then they kept getting returned to Amazon. So they kept taking the commission uh, back off me. So that wasn't so good. So I'm really hoping that these uh, roof boxes don't come back to Amazon and we continue to get some fantastic growth on the revenue. Finally, let's have a look at some of the AdSense figures. Now, I don't know if you remember that a little while back, I adjusted the AdSense ads on the site, basically added a few more to try and increase the income. And it seems to have had a positive effect. I mean, it's not a particularly huge increase, but you know, compared to September where we earned $4.83 from AdSense, in October, it's up to $9.22. And if we look at the last 30 days, it's up to $10.58. So who knows? We get some more traffic. The AdSense earnings could start to become a little bit more interesting. But at the moment, it's just a little bit of change for the odd beer now and again that I'm getting from AdSense. But who knows? We'll keep an eye on it and uh, wait and see. So that brings to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. I'm looking forward to doing my next update video on this site, which will be probably around the end of November. I mean, who knows what the earnings could be then? Maybe 300, 400, 500? Who knows? <laughs> Let's wait and see. But yeah, I'm feeling confident again about the site and yeah, looking forward to seeing some fantastic growth. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to click on my face. Make sure you click that bell. If you want to check out my vlog channel, click on my other face up there. And there are a couple of videos they've been chosen specially for you. I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.